Hello, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, my name is Stewart, and of course, you can call me Stewart the teacher. You are welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can type in a can or ewe or dagari or dagbani or any of the Ghanaian languages. If you are not in Ghana, you may also get your language using the same technique you realize that when you go to for instance this is whatsapp this is the keyboard that i'm using it doesn't give me the three font so you can't find a letter like e or o and the others so normally when we type let's say i want to type something like a uh, we use three as the e so in place of e we use tre which is not the appropriate way so i'm going to show you how you can get the real key font on your phone don't forget that this works only on android phones so if you're using an android phone then let's get started you need to have gboard keyboard installed on your phone Gboard stands for Google Keyboard. Gboard, Google Keyboard. You may already have it installed because for most phones, Gboard is already installed on them. But you must first find out if you have it on your phone. So to do that, go to settings. And on the search bar at the top, search for Gboard. All right, so as you can see, Gboard has popped up. So it means I have Gboard on the phone and I'm going to open it from here. So you see, under Manage Keyboards, we have Gboard. We have Gboard and we have all these other keyboards installed. But if you don't find Gboard, then you may want to download it from Play Store. That is also pretty simple. You just go to Play Store and search for Gboard. It will pop up, then you can install from there. Okay, so now that we are certain that we have Gboard on our phone, let's see how we can activate the tree font and the other types of fonts. There are several ways of doing this, and I'm going to show you two of them. Let's go back to settings. Then on the search bar, let's search for keyboard. So you see, these are the results. Normally you can look for this one, the one who says virtual keyboard. So either this or that, or you can just take the first one who says keyboards, then under it we have system and then languages and input. So any of them will take you to the same interface. So let's let's pick the first one. Then now you can pick your virtual keyboard from here. We don't have any physical keyboard, so you can see it says not connected. Now let's open a virtual keyboard and here are the virtual keyboards. You can click on manage keyboards to see the all the other keyboards that you have. But we don't need all the other keyboards. We only need the Gboard. So you open Gboard from here. Over here, you can see we have languages, preferences, theme, text correction, and the rest. So you can scroll through them and check them out. But we are going to focus on languages because that's what we want to do. Over here, you choose add keyboard. Okay, so there you see add keyboard. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to add the keyboard now. I want to show you the second method of reaching the same place so let's close this i'm going to close the settings open whatsapp so you see as soon as you tap here the keyboard automatically pops up so that is a keyboard what do you do is that you press on the space bar so let your hand be on the space bar and you will have this pop up so there you see this is the Gboard and this is the language that I'm currently on or using. Under it, we have language settings. So you can tap on this language settings and it will bring you back 
to the same interface you remember this place where we were about to add the keyboard so now let's continue and add a keyboard tap on add keyboard the keyboards come in languages so this is where you look for your language and as you can see this is akan dangbe dagbani dagari fancy we have the ghanaian pg hausa kokomba ever so if you can speak any of these languages and want to type in that language you choose it from here beside that a lot of languages all over the world are here including arabic you know as you can see a lot a lot a lot you can scroll through and check them out so if you are in nigeria if you're in uganda south africa or any country just check them out here maybe your native language is here so if you see your language you simply select that now let's go back and i am going to choose a can i'm going to choose a can but again you can even search for it at the top here so let's say you want to know if you have europa yeah it's here so for nigerians you can type in europa it's here all right so let's let's select a can that's why we are here okay so you tap on the account and again it will give you this option you can scroll horizontally like this and see the types of keyboards that are available but because we want only the account which is the first one here you said the account is selected so you click on done and now account has been added to the English that was already there. Let me add another one, and this time I'm going to add ever. Okay, so we tap on it and click on done. So as you can see, I have three languages added to my keyboard. Now we can close this one. When you come back, you will not see any changes. So you see, we still have our English keyboard, and this time they've labeled the space bar as english so from here we can change the languages how do you do it again you just tap on it and there we have it you see we have english we have account we have ever let's see the ever wow you see this is ever so we can see we have the e let me make it small letters we have the e we have the d d and d right and we have the F and F. We have the N and N and the rest. <laughs> I love every language, even though I can't speak it. Then you can again change it to a can. So for a can, you only have the E and the O over here. So you see, you have E and O. So if you want to type anything, like let's like say you want to type Abofra, Abo. As soon as you type the A, B, O, the keyboard will begin to give you some suggestions. So let's add the F and C. I'll say Opesoye Abofra or Abufu. <laughs> you get it? So just as it used to give suggestions, word or text suggestions in English, this time it will do the same thing for you in P. So I'll choose Abofra. Then you see our friend no any so okay all right so <laughs> let me clear let me clear that so this time I can easily type the a uh, b you see a bear a bear has appeared so we tap on that a bear you see it's giving us another suggestion many j okay so a bear yeah. yeah. I think it should be yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And as you can see, it is labeled a can. So that is pretty simple, right? If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on that like button.
you can also share it with somebody else if you have any question you can leave it in the comment and i'll respond to it thank you for passing by stay blessed